Perhaps you noticed some of your favorite landmarks in that montage. Wasn't that pretty? Well, there was one place that you didn't see, but it's my favorite. Let's see if you can guess where I'm talking about. <sighs> Another long, hard day in the city, and it's only 5.15. A day of endless friendless conferences with meetings in between. And now a sea of weary people I'm determined to get through. Just dying to, just trying to get home to you. First the box is blocked on Madison. I can't even cross the street. As a parade of grumpy vendors bump their carts against my feet. Cabs are full, the sidewalks crammed, the bus is about to burst, and the IRT at rush hour, that's the worst. Huh. But Grand Central Station looms dead ahead for a guy who is doomed to roam. Grand Central Station's an answered prayer, and I'm almost there, and when I'm there, If the heartbeat of the city could be crystallized in stone, if a place of constant motion had a stillness all its own, if this secular cathedral could inspire a guy like me, what a place it's got to be. Yes, Grand Central Station's New York to me, like St. Peter's is only Rome. Just jam-packed with people, yet light as air. It's a palace where, when I get there, I know I am halfway home. Now, rushing through this concourse with the ceiling full of stars, past the gourmet shops and the sheep boutiques and that best of oyster bars, it's the gateway to the world millions of ways new but right now my whole world boils down to you only you grand central station will send me there in a chariot of steel and chrome i'm just one of the thousands who twice each day find their grateful way and tomorrow once more I will ride that long track into the city 